Welcome to the new episode of How to Electronics. In today's episode, we'll learn what is TDS, how does the TDS meter works, what is TDS sensor, and how do you the interface the TDS sensor with any microcontroller. We'll also learn the principle and theory behind the electrical conductivity in TDS sensors. We'll see all about the TDS sensors from DF robot, and then we'll interface this TDS sensor with Arduino to measure the TDS of water in PPM and then we'll add a waterproof temperature sensor to correct the reading and calibrate the TDS sensor. The official sponsor of this video is NextPCB. NextPCB is one of the biggest PCB manufacturer company in China. They offer a brilliant and high quality PCB at only few dollars. For example, they offer a full air PCB at only $28. All you need to do is a generate a Gerber file from any PCB designing tool and go to their site, upload the Gerber file, select the quantity, select the design tool and just upload it and then simply place an order. So after a week, you'll get the PCB at very, very good quality. Let us see what is TDS. So TDS is defined in terms of water or any other liquid. So TDS stands for total dissolved solids and it represents the total concentration of dissolved substance in water. Dissolved substance means it may be an ionic substance or it may be an organic substance. So it is made up of inorganic salts as well as a small amount of organic matter. Common inorganic salts are calcium, magnesium, potassium, sodium and their carbonate, nitrates, bicarbonates, etc. So this table indicates what type of water with the TDS value is good for drinking. So anything below 40 ppm is good for drinking. So this is the TDS sensor that I recently purchased from DF robot. So I will give the link in the description for this component. You can buy it from here. So it has one electrode with a very long wire and a signal connector board and a small connector. So on the electrode, you can see there are two metallic rod placed outside. So there is a fixed distance between the two metallic rod. This is a small connector that need to be connected to the Arduino. And this is a signal conversion board that has two IC that works as an amplifier and converts the signal generated by the electrode into a digital signal. So one connector need to be connected on this side and there is an small connector that need to be connected on the back side. So one end of the connector is directly connected to the any microcontroller or Arduino and another is directly dipped inside the water. Now let us see the working principle behind the TDS meter. So we have different type of liquid that we are using in house, we are using in chemistry lab or we are used for pharmaceutical products. All this compound or all this liquid have different physical properties and different chemical properties. So all these compounds are made up of some chemicals that may be acidic, basic or salt like I am showing here that is NaCl, HCl and NaOH. When these substances dissolves in water, they dissociate. Now when they dissociate, they form a positive cations and they form a negative anion. So, the conduction between cation and anion is responsible for conduction of electricity. So, on any of the TDS sensor, we have two rods. Now, these two rods are separated from each other. So, we are using a conductivity principle for calculating the TDS. Now, when an electricity is provided, there is a conduction. So, the conduction is between the cation and anion. So, the greater is the quantity of mixed solid, the greater is the conductivity. And the lesser the dissolved solid, the lesser is the electricity conduction. So, this electricity conduction is converted into a ppm value and we have this equation. Now, let us see how we interface the TDS sensor with Arduino. So the TDS sensor is an analog sensor and it just has a three connector. So the analog pin of the TDS sensor is connected to any of the analog pin of Arduino. In my case, 
I connected it to A1. The VCC is supplied with 3.3 volt or 5 volt and we have connected the ground to the ground. So here is the practical circuit that we assembled it. You can make a separate PCB for assembling all this if you want. So let us see the code. So we have used an EP ROM. Now this EP ROM is used to store the sample value so that the calibration can be easily done. Okay. So we have a gravity tds.h library. This we can get it from the link in the description. We have defined the tds pin as a naught. And we have initialized the tds library. So here we are using a fixed temperature that is 25 degrees Celsius to measure the TDS. In the setup section, we have initialized the analog reading. How we do the analog reading? That is conversion of voltage into 10 bit value. Okay. And by here, we are simply printing the TDS value on serial monitor. So here are two samples of water. Both are the clean water right now. But in one of the sample, I will add a small amount of salt so that the conductivity will increase by very very less amount okay now after mixing i will just stir solution so that the salt get completely dissolved on it so once it get dissolved you can place the rod and start measuring so when i put it inside the sample of dissolved salt so you can see the ppm value is currently 70 it hasn't increased and similarly when i keep it inside another sample where the water is clear it is still showing 56 so there is only slightly variation now this thing can be displayed on lcd screen that is 16 into 2 lcd so i have connected one 16 into 2 lcd to the arduino board so you can make the connection exactly like this so I have made this connection you can see I have added an extra LCD where I can display the TDS value okay now let me power it on so now it's showing 0 ppm but when I put the electrode and water it will start showing some value so it's showing around 74 ppm but now the biggest factor is we have made the device for 25 degrees Celsius what if the temperature of water rises and what if the temperature of water drops down to lower value in that case we won't get the proper value so in that case I have used a sensor for the calibration purpose so the base sensor is DS18 B20 waterproof temperature sensor so here is the connection the one DS18 B20 is added to the digital pin of Arduino that is 7 and a pull off register of 4.7 kilo ohm is added to the same sensor by a 5 volt PCC. Now we will just put both of these rods and measure the conductivity or measure the PPM value. But before now let's see the program. So for program we have just added one wire and the large library and we have defined the temperature sensor pin rest of the codec is still the same that I showed you earlier so instead of in a board, board setup section we are just reading the value of TDS sensor and in gravity dot TDS the set temperature we are not putting 25 degrees Celsius instead of that we are putting the value from DS 10 b 20 waterproof temperature sensor okay and then we are just displaying the temperature and TDS value on 16 cross 2 LCD display so just compile the code and upload so once uploading is done you can see that TDS is almost zero as I haven't placed the sensor in any liquid now when I place the sensor you can see the TDS is 66 and temperature is around 25.25 so now I will add a lot of salt to it so that the TDS value changes so here are the salt so on adding the salt the TDS value has started rising so as you can see it has crossed 100 400 now it has crossed 500 600 slowly slowly it will go higher so now it has reached almost around 1900 so 1900 ppm remember you can only use this sensor up to the temperature of 55 degrees Celsius it won't work properly or give you false reading once the temperature crosses 25 degrees celsius so that's all about the today's video thank you for watching 
please share like and subscribe my channel